Oh, good morning. Um, this uh, version of uh, Stickman 5.7 will show you some changes in the user interface. Uh, so, okay, so let's have a peek. Here we got uh, the first uh, thing you might notice is that the toolbar doesn't have all these orange backgrounds. And another thing is that you can move this toolbar and resize it. And it is actually this reason I wanted to redesign the interface because it didn't match well with the old design. Um, this is again will be important in the game engine that you can have enough space um, to see the information at the left side. And uh, we have a new button here. Uh, or not, it's not new, it's only put together in a different pattern. The render buttons are removed, uh, but uh, you can use it here, export. So it's not very necessary because you only use them once in a project. So I thought it would just they just took up space. And uh, we have the timeline. I changed the color here, and uh, when you select a frame, you will see the number above instead like here. And you have the offset button, which is not longer longer um, black, but no, 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 it was red before. Oh, it's black. And when you select um, a frame, it will focus with a red color, which shows you where to focus and not focus at that uh, the timeline. Okay. And if you double click, uh, you can. And go to a frame. Uh, you can also do use the Control G, but on this. Um, you have um, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's add a figure. Um, You go to control points too. Um, I move it. Um, um, if I want to delete this key, I can use this button here. But it's it's a long way to move the mouse over here. So you can just double click here, just like when you add a keyframe. And of course, there's undo, so you don't have to change it a bit. Uh, I changed the color at the end of the animation to um, not so very much contrast, so it looks kind of better. Um, um okay so that's pretty much about it i i can show you now how far i come with the game engine so he here i got different animations and if i play them simultaneously you see something like this but when I choose a game, I got some options here that uh, describes how I um, how I want to connect this animation together. And when I start with this, uh, this uh, square is only for um, uh, debugging or development purposes. So when I jump. And I can turn both ways and walk. And I can bend down. 
and if I turn it this way and uh, press down it will first um, face the camera and then turn down so I I first uh, was thinking like a Mario control action but w when I looked back at what uh, games I liked um, I thought of uh, having it more like a, a, an adventure game and less l uh, like a platform uh, even I will try to find a style which combines them perhaps into a new uh, style of games um, and yeah, I think it's because uh, the delay you have between you press a key and it does something if you press the wrong key you have to face your consequences then you can't undo them and this is creating more exciting moment in the game like when you or you are climbing up a cliff and if you do a mistake you will fall down and there are many types um, all the styles but if you get uh, to feedback um, if the figure responds to quick quickly it will feel like you can do everything you want with it and it's not so fun it doesn't challenge you and um, uh, when you have a, a kind of um, a pattern or a delay you will have to use more of the brains that is related to music and doing things in the right time um, you can also adjust the speed and velocity of the figure according to the music you make in a level so you can make them uh, go faster in one level and slower in another and so on. so I hope this will work and um, uh, if you want to follow the development you can just, just subscribe to this channel my name is Sven Nissen, the creator of Stickman Elemental and you can download the alpha version from the link in the description um, thanks for watching, that's all